Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for uh, June 17th to June 23rd, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards. And we can jump straight away to the reading. All right, so uh, the first card, which represents Leo's topic uh, for the week, that is going to be the moon card, followed by the second one, which stands for the challenges that Leo needs to overcome. We do have the uh, page of cups. Afterwards, it is the uh, positive aspect of the week for Leo. This is going to be the page of pentacles. And the last card, which is the guidance that Saro has for you guys, that will be uh, the uh, strength card. All right, so once again, um, the moon card, it is the general topic, followed by the page of cups, which stands for the challenges. Afterwards, it is the page of pentacles, which is the positive aspect. And then the last one that we have for you, that is going to be the strength card marking the um the guidance all right so leo this week it's uh well it's not going to be that major um all that you need to know is that your circumstances are uh are cooking okay and uh you may not have a confirmation for this development and that's why this week could be a little bit more uh accompanied with more hectic wavering than usual Okay, so uh, that is described here with the moon card where you may start sensing a bit of uh, a bit of insecurity, let's say, and uh, a vagueness. It's kind of like you may start uh, sensing that something is wrong or something isn't quite right, I would say, with either your career or with either your relationship. Due to the uh, recent efforts probably that you have incorporated in there, all right, and you are yet not seeing the results of uh of those actions for example you know you were start talking with this woman or with this uh, man and you really like it seems they like you as well um you established communication you texted them and they are not returning back the text yet so you are start imagining all those kind of like negative uh unfoldments of the situation while the reality is completely different you know that person could be overburdened by work uh, they may have a, a different circumstances which are obstructing them to return your message that is just for an example you know but uh, it's kind of like you are making up the worst possible case scenario the accompanied card here it is the um the empress the formation it is a passive friends that we have and the empress is just the confirmation that everything is uh, unfolding or rather like the um the situation that you are feeling insecure about it's rather unforming in a very good fashion and it is um it is developing uh, it develop itself um in a more positive um 
and a most positive outlook. But with the Empress as well, it will be important to ease your hectic wavering and to adopt a little bit more mature standpoint, a standpoint of patience, for example, and a standpoint of an understanding. And especially if you do have a decision to make, uh, it will be important that you detach yourself from the situation itself. Um, so, you know, you can analyze any kind of option available and finally make your decision in a rather mature fashion. Now, the um, obstacles or rather the challenge is going to be a person here. We do have the page of uh, cups, uh, probably a good friend of yours or someone that you are associating yourself a lot with. And uh, that person, it's not looking upon your situation objectively. Don't get me wrong. That person really cares for you. And because they don't see the unfoldment that they think you deserve, you know, they are starting to um, amplify, you know, those senses of insecurity. For example, that person isn't talking to you or rather like is not uh, sending you the message. We are following the example. So they are not replying to your message. And this page of cups, which is a good friend of yours, starts to... Um, plant, you know, even more doubts in you, like this person doesn't um, pay attention or they are, for example, not interested, uh, why you should waste time with them and etc, etc. You know, it's someone who is very, um, the page of cups, I mean, it's someone who is very impulsive when it comes to a emotional attachment and it's someone who strictly follows their emotions while in this uh, specific case, it will be beneficial for you that you tame your emotions of vagueness and insecurity. Moreover, the um, the moon card tells us that you have to, that you should not um, abandon, you know, the the path that you have consciously chosen. Meaning that if you decided to associate yourself with a specific person, you know, I'm talking about relationship here, uh, and uh, things aren't working out, or they seemingly aren't working out uh, with the speed that you are anticipating here throughout the week, that should not be a prerequisite for you to quit, uh, you know, empathizing with this person. So the accompanied card here, it is uh, the hangman formation. It is a passive supporters. And we definitely have a person who believes into the doom and gloom, someone who is associated with you and they are try trans. Uh, how can I transform, not transforming, but um, how do you say it? Uh, transferring, excuse me, transferring that belief into the doom and gloom into your conscious uh, consciousness and for that reason th th this uh, associating association could uh, severely damage your mood okay so it will be uh, important here throughout the week um, Leo to um, how can I describe it to restrain yourself of um, kind of like having an interactions with people who does not have a positive attitude. So uh, the next card uh, is going to be uh, the page of pentacles. So this is another person, the positive aspect that is another associate um, associate of yours, which, however, is looking more practically upon the situation. Now that person, it's more how can I describe it? A, a person of devotion and a person of um, consistency as well so what they're gonna uh what they're gonna encourage you is that once you started something back in the days maybe a couple of weeks ago maybe a uh, a month ago that you need to proceed forward with it you should not abandon it um you know lightly just because you don't have a good feeling for it at this specific time because that feeling like i said is going to be present only for the time being and as the week ends uh probably you know that feeling uh, things are going to be rather revealed and the situation will become much more clearer and uh, you are going to see that you have worried or rather like a um, yeah you have I would say worried for something for something that was completely unnecessary to uh, to worry about the accompanied card here that is to be the chariot so the formation it is a passive uh, friends that we have and the chariot is another confirmation that you should push forward with it regardless of how it's not futile but more like a um, how can I describe it cornering the situation looks like at least at this uh, very moment so that person like if you are following the example 
doesn't reply to your messages so uh, probably you thinking of giving up the messaging them and giving up dating with them well this page of cup of page of pentacles will encourage you you know to uh make more but no bold but you know more persistent actions to um to amplify the uh the communication with the person who is not replying to you that is like i said just for an example if we have to give an, an example for career that could be a project coming in here or a project that you are working over but it does look like that this week that project is going to be uh in a state of where there is not much of an unfoldment so one person is gonna tell you why do you even bother you know since you're seeing how the situation is unfolding while the other one will encourage you with the words probably that you put too much time and effort into it to back up to to bear on it right now and you have to uh, basically start collecting the, the 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 look of your the the luck of your hard work and as well to uh, how can i describe it um to push even harder into that direction and that is exactly what you got to do guys because we do have the strength card as a guidance here and the strength in this case is about tenacity. The strength in this case is about enthusiasm. So you need to find a way how you can become more enthusiastic about um, about this endeavor, which this week doesn't have much of an unfoldment, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. One way to do it, you know, is to imagine the uh, the end goal, how it's manifested. The other way of doing it, it's through meditation, you know, or I don't know, everybody has a different way how they can boost their enthusiasm. But the enthusiasm is all that you need to clinch upon for throughout the week, being enthusiastic to see that person once again, you know, being enthusiastic to jump into business endeavor endeavors and etc etc it's very important however when we have the strength card is to follow your um how can i place it um well i would say your personal standpoints meaning that yeah these two people are going to have different opinions they are going to have a different influence uh, upon the enterprise or upon your um standpoint in regards to the enterprise that you are trying to develop but ultimately at the end you will have to take that decision for yourself and on your own one important thing with a strength card is that you should not feel yourself uh, obliged to uh, explain why you have decided in a favor or in the lack of favor for the enterprise uh, the accompanied card here that is to be the um, the death card so we do have an, an active uh, active enemies and uh, the death card here as an active enemy to the strength card is just a confirmation that you should not bail out meaning that you should not try to change anything all right but just stick to the original plan and uh, the only thing that you have to do there is to find more enthusiastic way how you can um, exert that plan um, into the enterprise that it is um, becoming a little bit more seemingly insecure for throughout the week. That, like I said, could be a project into your career, partnership, uh, something in your marriage, or simply something into your relationship life as well. So uh, if you have uh, the, uh, how can I describe it? If you have these thoughts for the doom and gloom, well, I urge you to guess again because it's just something temporary. It's uh, it's something that it is dictated by a peripheral and exterior circumstances and things are to change very, very quickly where you are to obtain again the structure and uh, the, um, it's not the determination, what is the word here? Mm. The conviction, the con uh, convictions. Uh convinced being more being convinced i would say that way being convinced that things are to work out all right so uh that being said leo this was your weekly tarot reading june 13th uh june 17th excuse me to june 23rd 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we are going to see each other around until then bye